Tack. Tack with AOK -okay Foraging and Adventures. Here we go. Here we go. I'm Brenda with AOK -okay Foraging and Adventures. And we're doing a review video for Papa. Papa, Texas. Papa Texas. Papa Texas. Right there. Papa. Papa, Papa, Papa Texas. Texas. <laughs> He's a great guy. Great guy. I don't know why it made us decide to do it, but because we miss him. We really miss him. We yeah, haven't yeah. Uh, hung out with him. We haven't talked. Uh, I haven't texted him in a while. Nothing. So why not? Right? Anyways, folks, this is a beer review. <laughs> Recently, it was just Chinese New Year, and we were celebrating it, and our friend Margaret, the one that did the uh, Mai Tai review with Brenda, I'll put that link right there, so you guys can see what, up there, there, yep, so that way, you guys can see who Margaret is, well, Margaret was thoughtful enough to get us a beer for Chinese New Year, yep, so I'm going to bring this a little closer, so you guys can see that bottle, you guys see the Buddha there? Lucky Buddha. There, look at that. And the name of the beer is Lucky Buddha. Right? Yep. And it is from uh, Hangzhou, China, right there. Um, anyways, this is a 4.8 alcohol by volume. We have no idea on anything else. And we even looked it up online. And it had question marks by everything. Like, okay, well... All we know is that their company started in 2016. That's it. So it's called Lucky Buddha. And it says what? Enlightened. Oh, enlightened beer. Yes. Enlightened. So let's open this up. What's this on top? Oh, it's a, it's oh, a Buddha. It's, yep, Lucky it's Buddha. A, yep, but it says February 25th, 2020. Hmm. We're still good. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't expired. All right. So. Oh, you, you always wait. Oh, you guys see our foreign and domestic glasses right here? Can you guys see that? Right there. Mine even has my name on it. This is from our friend, the crazy Scotsman. Yep. And my name. So, it is... Very light. Very light bond. Yeah. I poured it very well. That's why there's hardly any head on there. <laughs> but, anyways. Hmm. It has a tiny bit of a craft beer smell, but not... It almost smells like a citrus. Yeah. Yeah, almost... A slight... You know, slight IPA smell. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Mm, I like it. Wow. Yeah. It's like a very mild IPA. Very, very mild, though. You get some of the hops, but not very light hint of it, I think. I don't really know what hops and barley and wheat taste like. <laughs> Other people tell me they taste that. I don't know what the heck. Oh, that's, um... Oh. So, um, That's that was the dog. Ball. Dog was saying, hey, hops. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. Good job, Margaret. Yeah. Very, very good. nice beer. Very good. I do taste a hint of tart at the very end. A very hint of tartness. That I know, because tartness means a little bit of sour. I do taste a little bit that at the end. But it's very mild. But you could still taste 
beer. I mean, you actually taste it, but it's a mild, not like strong IPA, but it does have that IPA kind of taste to me. Hmm. Well, thank you, Margaret. This actually turned out to be a really nice <laughs> beer. <laughs> better reviews. Yeah. For a beer in a while. Yep, yep. So this no, did turn no, out to be good beer. No sour Yep, face. no sour faces or anything <laughs> or no. like that. So yeah, I really like it. Right here, you guys, there's the Lucky Buddha. Right Buddha. Lucky Buddha. Again. Yep, we absolutely will. Now, she did tell me that she found it at a fresh market store. That world market. A world market, that's it. Yeah, she found it at a world market. Yep. So, cheers to you, Margaret. And cheers. She drank herself with that. Cheers to you, Scotsman, for the glasses. Yep. All I right, folks. It. Bottoms up. <sighs> Refreshing, too. It's like you could drink this in the summer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, there you guys have it. Lucky Buddha beer. What do we give it? I... I give it a five. Well, I give it a five also. I would absolutely drink this again. I would, I would yeah. buy it. I would yeah. recommend it. That gives it a five. Yep. yep. So, folks, there you go. Thank you for watching. Hey, folks, if you liked this review and you like our friend Papa Texas, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Make sure you like, share, and comment. And then, hey, don't forget to ring that bell. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. <laughs> Folks, we love Papa Texas. We haven't seen him in a while and we missed him. So if you guys like this video, go check him out. Until next time, may all your adventures be hail.